Hey everybody, Peach here, and today we're going to cover the reveal of my home gym remodel, as well as give you a quick tour of my gym, highlighting which equipment I have, how I got it, what I paid for it, etc., etc. So, let's do it. Now, as you can see, the gym looks a lot different now. So let's start from the beginning and take a little trip down memory lane. Now, the primary reason why we're doing this overhaul is I'm sick and tired of this elevated platform that the previous owners put in. I can't put certain equipment like my power rack on this side of the gym because the ceiling's too low above that elevated platform. So we're gonna rip that out as well as make a whole bunch of other needed improvements. We're ripping that out right now. Now after ripping out that elevated platform, I spackled and painted the walls and then set out to do the following DIY projects, all of which have a separate DIY tutorial video available in the links down in the video description below. So to start, we did wall to wall horse stall mats. Then we hung a gym mirror. Then we installed pegboard. And then finally, we put together a barbell rack. Now, all these projects turned out even better than they thought they would. In fact, I'm ecstatic with how this remodel turned out. The only thing I'm not ecstatic with is the current layout. The current layout is the same as the old layout. So I'm still experimenting with layouts which will afford me the most efficient workout possible while maintaining clear lines of sight so I can film these videos. So, I'm still experimenting with that. So, anywho, let's start the gym tour. All right, so to start off, let's talk about my dumbbells. Now, most of my dumbbells are right here on the Rep Fitness three-tier dumbbell rack, which is awesome. I bought it last Black Friday for about 170 bucks. Well, I plan on getting another one, an identical one, this Black Friday to get all these dumbbells up off the ground. Now, most of my dumbbells are pro-style dumbbells, which can be crazy expensive, but I buy mine used. So, for example, this set of 25 pound Ivancos goes for several hundred dollars brand new. I got the pair for 30 bucks, and I plan on cleaning these up and restoring them very soon. Now, this set of Troys, which goes from 20 to 50 pounds, would go for several, I guess, thousands of dollars. However, I paid $3.25 for the whole set because they were rusty and crusty and I restored them. All right, now let's go check out the power rack. All right, now let's talk about the power rack. This is the TDS power rack. It's rated for a thousand pounds. It's got one inch holes, two by two square tubing, and it's made out of 11 gauge steel. And frankly, for the value, I don't think you can find a better power rack. Of course, it's not one of the sexy brands, but for $350, that's quite a value. Now, I paid $275 four years ago, so it's only gone up by $75. Bucks. I highly recommend. All right, now let's talk about this bench. It's the Rep Fitness AB4100 adjustable bench, and I absolutely love it. It's 
one of the nicest things I have in this gym. And I did buy it brand new. And the nice thing about Rep Fitness is they do offer a veteran's discount, which is how I got 5% off. All right, come over here. Okay, and over here we have a multi-station gym. It's the Body Solid EXM 2500S. It retails for 1400 bucks. I bought it for 90 bucks. Dude was moving to a condo in Florida, couldn't take it with him. His loss is my gain. This thing does tons of stuff, okay? And if I were to buy separate machines to do all that this does, number one, it would cost 10 times as much and it would take up 10 times the space. So it is a low row, it is a lat pull down, it is a pec deck, it is a leg extension, it is a chest press, so on and so on. So check out the link below to learn more. Let's go over here. All right, so over here in the DIY barbell rack, we have three barbells and I have an axle bar from Gorilla Strength, which I did buy brand new. And these two, I pretty much got for free when I was buying used plates. This one's from Cap. It's shiny, but it's not very nice. This one is complete garbage. I have no idea what the brand is. It's just metal on metal. And uh, if you grease it up enough, it will spin. But it is nice to have a beater bar that you don't care about for doing certain exercises like mm, landmines. You can stick it in your landmine. If the sleeves get scratched up, who cares? So get a beater bar. Let's go over here. All right, so now let's talk about plates. So I got several one inch plates. I bought them all used and they were all rusty and crusty and I cleaned them up. And over here, we got Olympic plates, all used. I didn't buy them all rusty and crusty though. Not all of them, but most of them. Lots of these are VTX. And these are awesome actually. And I did buy them used and I think I paid about a dollar a pound for them. But most of these plates are like cap. They don't even have a name on them, okay? And they were rusty and crusty and I spray painted them and cleaned them up and now they're awesome. So let's go in here. Okay, so inside this closet, I put my PowerTech compact leg sled. Now the compact leg sled is a great option for you if you want a leg press, but you don't have the space for one. And this thing I think retails brand new for 1100 bucks and I got mine for 300. It's a first generation, it's used, but I'm happy with that purchase. So let's go over here. All right, just to round out this home gym tour, we'll make our way towards the door and focus on this built-in bookshelf that the previous homeowner put in. Thank you, previous homeowner. And on this shelf, I store all kinds of products such as the Abmat Preacher Pad, which I won via the Garage Gym Experiment giveaway. Thank you, Garage Gym Experiment. And over here, we also happen to have actually a bunch of Abmat products. We got the Abmat Abmat. We got the Abmat Barbell Bomb, which will be making an appearance in an upcoming video very soon. And we got, you know, medicine balls and whatnot. But I also store a lot of just random junk to make DIY projects with. We got PVC couplers. We got zip strips. We got plumbing nipples, you know, all that stuff that I use to tinker with in the gym to bring you DIY projects. All right, there's your home gym tour. Now get out of here. All right, now for more details on all the projects you saw in this remodel, please visit designbuildlift.com. And if you're interested in purchasing some of the items you saw in this video, please consider purchasing those items via the links down in the video description below. Shopping via these links costs you nothing extra and it helps support the channel. All right, that does it for this episode and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to be alerted the moment the next project drops.